Hey everyone, welcome back to another writing video. It's currently 9.55 p.m. on the 16th, and as you just saw, I decided to do Camp NaNoWriMo. So, I went to the wrong site <laughs> as well. I went to the younger, like 17 and younger site, and so I had to refilm that intro to this video. But this is going to be my first prepping video and I'm really going to try to stick with this story because this is the side story that I've been wanting to write for a while for my novel Kyle's Purgatory, which is this book right here. Now, this is more of like a spinoff to Kyle's Purgatory and I've always wanted to do like a spinoff to a main series of mine but I've never finished like a main series and I still have to rewrite this but I think I'm going to save that for a later date um yeah I'm just gonna save that for a later date and I wanted to film or start my intro now and then tomorrow I will do some more planning because I have been thinking about it. I do have a board on my wall. Or like a. Yeah. A board. And I have my characters. And their names. Like actors chosen out. Um, yeah. They're all actors. Chosen out. And I have a couple of inspirations for the shack itself. Although the shack is kind of in a tree. It's not an actual house. Um, that's just an inspiration of how old I want the shack to be. So, I have been looking forward to writing this since I came up with it, but I wanted to let it sit for quite a while, and I wanted to try and integrate it with these characters from this story. Um, when I rewrite it, I have tried it a different way. And you guys saw in those videos that that did not work. So I'm going to go back to this draft right here. And I'm going to try and mix in the Shaq characters with this story and see what I come up with. Since I already have the, wo the world that they're going into built up. Um... Well, for the most part, because I haven't written the other, like, I pictured this being a three-book series, so a trilogy, um, and I don't know, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Um, I'm going to try and just do some brainstorming, not really sure, like, what, but I've been seeing a lot of Camp NaNoWriMo videos going around on AuthorTube with the different AuthorTube people that I follow um, and people that they watch and then I go watch them and I'm like, and I was just watching um, a new person actually that popped up. Who is she? Sarah Labrat? L-U-B-R-A-T-T. Don't know if I said that right. Um, I am so sorry if I didn't. <laughs> but she just posted her video today for Camp NaNoWriMo. And I'm going to be doing my planning and prepping video between tonight and tomorrow. At least the start. So this is like episode one. Um, uh, no, that's for something else. <laughs> I was going to say, ooh, I can have my this one be my planning and prepping but no actually let me go get something else don't mind my bed being a mess my dog was laying on it earlier today sorry about that this one so i can use my waypoint as a like outlining because I do have a couple of 
notebooks in here that I can use. Well, I have one notebook in here, and then I could kind of use this one. No, that's a church one. I'll make some. I will just make some. Oh, I can use this one. This one's a writing one as well, so I will add this one in here. And I'm just going to kind of set this up with a couple of notebooks, because I have one that I haven't used. This way I can take my writing on the go with me to places. I have a Paper and Cats one. The one I just put in is from a set from Daiso. Or Paper Penguin Co. I get those two mixed up. I've heard about Paper and Cats. I, don't, I haven't tried any from them. So, I have three notebooks. Mostly empty that I can use for Camp NaNoWriMo prepping. I think I need to tighten the elastic on here because it's kind of loose. So, there is that. And I think that's all I want to say for this very long intro. But I have been thinking for a majority of the month and even in February about doing Camp NaNoWriMo after I finished Kyle's Purgatory in January. And I am working on a contemporary story, but I can easily do that alongside the Camp NaNoWriMo one. Which I don't think I'm going to like force myself too much to try and hit 55,000 words because my stories don't go that far in the word count and I know that I won't be able to hit that word count so I'm going to set very low expectations for myself and I'll kind of film like little bits of my writing here and there throughout the month next this the rest of this month and next month um and we will just see where April takes me with my side story. But I'm very excited. I do have a majority of the ideas in my head. I just haven't put them down. I put some down on paper. I have a page tack or taped to my board thing. Words. <laughs> Um, I have a page of notes up there with the pictures of my characters and, like, what they look like. Um, this will pretty much hold everything else in here. And it kind of feels right to have my notes in this story. This is my Waypoint passport in the Rustic Brown from Sheik Sparrow. Um... I'm very excited because my grandmother for my birthday on my mom's side got me an apple pink leather uh, traveler's notebook in the field note size. So, in a leather that I've been wanting from them for a long time because it ages beautifully. Um, so, I'm very excited for that to come in. This video may be a kind of a long video, so I hope you guys will grab something like grab a drink of some sort. This is Sprite Serum Mist, but it's pretty much Sprite. And then I have like a flavored water in my mug that my dad's mom got me for my birthday. And this is also one of those stories where it puts me in a very like rustic feeling mood. And all of my journals lately have been that rustic kind of feeling and this one which is rustic and then I have 
my purple my purple one stuff is falling so this is going to be another writing vlog I'm trying to post more because I am hoping to be like that kind of escape for people with what's going on and someone else that I watch said that she wants to post more uh, throughout the next little while depending on how long this goes on for um, because like her YouTube is my escape so I hope to be that for you and hopefully inspire you to write in journal as well um, I do want to do a journal with me tonight, but that may have to wait until tomorrow because there's a picture that my mama has, my dad's mom, of my boyfriend and I for my birthday because she was like, hey, you two, I want to get a picture of you. So we awkwardly stood in Jaleo getting, having my grandmother take a picture of us, so... We will just see what this journey holds for you and I. Let me know if you're doing Camp NaNoWriMo. And actually, this may just be like a, hey, I'm doing Camp NaNoWriMo type thing. When you guys like write live write-ins, um, I'm... I think I may have to have my boyfriend help me figure that out, or I can. Um, like, doing a live write-in. I don't know if I would be able to do that at the same time as doing... No, or in the, in the writing. And do I want to handwrite? Or do I want to... Because I've been missing handwriting stories. <sighs> I have quite a few notebooks that I can use. I know I have some on a couple on the floor over there that I can use. Um, I'm not sure. So I think this is just going to be one video in and of itself. The introduction of the shack. Um, let me know if you guys are doing Camp Nanorimo down below. I'm cutting this short right now <laughs> and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's just see if we can hit our word counts I mean I have mine set to 50,000 words but I feel like this is just going to be a series of novellas in the Kyle's Purgatory world. Um, if you guys want to be in cabins, I don't know how that all goes. Mm. Or if you want to be buddies and like support each other on Camp NaNoWriMo. Let me know in the comments down below. We can do that too. I'm just kind of looking at the site because it's been a while. It's been since November. Did I do? I try every year since I've learned about Camp about NaNoWriMo and Camp Nano. Camp, Camp Nano. <sighs> Getting tired. I've learned, or I've tried every year, but I've learned that I can't hit those goals every year, but at least I've written something down, and that's what I'm going to try to remember this year, so I'm not beating myself up with trying to catch up and be at the same pace as everyone else, because I think that's very important to learn as well, or remember. So, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to slow down. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more writing, journaling, and book-related videos. Um, I think I may print out, like, mini photos of my characters and put them in here so that I can just have... I'm gonna tear... Uh, do I want to tear out those? No. But I just have a few notebooks in there. And, yeah, so I'm going to go maybe start working on this now. So I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.